Well, hello guys. Welcome to the first vlog in a very long time. I feel like... Mommy, stop! Oh, I'm getting told. Why do I need to stop? Can I come see you? I can. Okay, problem solved. Um, so I haven't vlogged in ages. I, f I can't actually remember the last time we vlogged. I think it was weekend nine and I feel like we're probably up to 13 now um, since lockdown because things just kind of went a bit, out, bit, bit crazy. Not out of control, I was gonna say out of control, but just things got a bit a bit bananas, didn't they, Mike? Did Shall I start at the beginning? I'm gonna sit up here and talk to you guys. Start, start with the end in mind. I'm gonna start at the beginning. So I'm gonna sit on my, <laughs> I'm gonna sit on the worktop. Um, so basically, I feel like it all started off with when, I, are you playing with your toys? Um, when I got ill, which you guys will remember, we missed a week vlogging then. So I got ill, and then a couple of weeks after that, I developed this crazy rash all over my body, um, and which sounds like me being dramatic. I'm really not that dramatic in terms of that kind of thing. It was pretty bad. Was it bad, Mike? It's a mess in here, by the way, guys. Yes. It was, like, from my neck down, pretty bad. So I had that, and that kind of got me down, got me down a little bit, not gonna lie. Um, and then Mike got ill, so Mike, went back to work in in between those two periods of time then Mike got really ill had a week off work so I had River on my own at home and was looking after Mike so all of that was kind of kicking off and was a bit rubbish then the rash got really bad um and I spoke to a doctor and a dermatologist and both of which said it's a reaction to the virus that you've had we both got tested so we don't think it was covid but um it literally um was just horrendous and apparently just a reaction to whatever virus we had i think it may have been strep throat because the dr. symptoms there's dr fleur hit dr google don't yeah that's me right now um but basically like we had all the symptoms of that and the rash that i had looked very much like um a specific type of psoriasis that is really commonly linked with puggy that spots. puggy spots as river like to call it anyway it's going now that's going um, so that was like the first few weeks that we missed of vlogging and then um, a week and a half ago, oh, during this whole time, to put this into context, um, I was actually early pregnant um, and then a week and a half ago I lost the baby um, and as you can imagine that was really shit um, and essentially just I've been just in a really down space and I haven't really wanted to <laughs> so hard to do this with River like chatting in the background um I haven't really been in the headspace where I've wanted to vlog and like share our home life because to be honest I've been really sad and whilst I've still been posting a bit on Instagram I had like a full week not posting anything on Instagram really um and I feel like a lot of you guys if you've ever been in this position which I know a lot of you that follow me have you will have been in um you kind of guessed like what was happening I feel like a few of my friends text texted me and like kind of assumed what was happening and stuff like that so that's where we've been in terms of um losing the baby and talking about that you know what it's it's been something that I haven't really wanted to talk about on the internet um because it's a difficult thing to talk about um we actually lost another baby back in October as well and I didn't mention anything online then um, and I feel like now, I don't know, I just feel more ready to share that with you. And this video is obviously like fairly lighthearted. I'm doing it with River and Mike in the room and stuff going on. But um, at the time, the first time, I was completely, completely heartbroken. I completely wasn't expecting it because my pregnancy with River went like absolutely completely straightforward and was fine. Um, and then obviously I was completely taken by surprise back in October when it happened the first time. I was gutted, like so, so upset and I just didn't feel ready to talk about it online. Um, and this time around I feel a bit more, um, I feel a bit less emotional about it because I was half kind of expecting it because it had happened last time. Anyway, um, also a plea in the comments, please don't give me your medical advice on all of this stuff because trust me, I am talking to doctors and all of that jazz about it and like is it linked to the virus blah 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 all those questions are going around in my head too please 
just leave it when it comes to that because um, when you're talking about things that are difficult to talk about online, it's made even more difficult by thousands of people having an opinion on whether or not you're doing the right thing. So, um, yeah, please just leave that because, yeah, this, this last couple of weeks have sucked enough. Um, anyway, and thank you, for, like, in advance because I know you guys are the most supportive group ever and you're always so kind to me and always whenever anything rubbish happens then you're always there so thank you for being here because i know there will be a lot of comments thank you in advance um so that's what's been happening that's where we've been um we've still been here just not really feeling up for sharing my life because it's been a bit shit <laughs> but it could be so much worse it could be so much worse the sun is shining outside we're on weekend 13 i think i just said 14 something like that in lockdown and it's actually lunchtime. It's Sunday today I, I wasn't gonna do a full weekend vlog because yesterday. I just didn't feel up for it um, But today I do it's lunchtime already this morning. We had um, a, a Very exciting family outing. We went all three of us went to the petrol station to fill up the car because the car was out of fuel um, and Mike went in, me and River stayed in the car, Mike bought sweeties, and it was very exciting. And then we went to the pet shop to get dog food, and I went in to get the dog food, and left the other two in the car. That's like the highlight outing of, of my week there. Um, so yeah, we've just done that, and I'm about to cook some lunch. I think I'm gonna do mushroom orzo. If you do guys don't know what orzo is, a lot, I feel like a lot of people will, because you will, but some people don't. Like my mum didn't know what it was until a few months ago. It's basically pasta that is shaped like rice so you can kind of make like risotto with it I love this stuff so I'm basically going to make like a creamy garlic mushroom um also risotto so it's not rice it's pasta but it looks like risotto um and yeah let's do that right I'm making this up as I go along we've got a red onion some garlic selection of mushrooms choppity chop oh got a rogue one Okay, so this is how it's going right now. I've also chucked in some um, smoked tofu. This is actually my personal favorite um, tofu. It's like uh, smoked tofu and it has almonds and sesame in it. So it actually has a really nice texture. Mike likes the normal like flobbery tofu as I like to call it, but that's my favorite. Also is cooking in here. Also gonna pop a little bit of um, coconut milk in there and probably like half a stock Cuban with the pasta, mix it together, simmer away, see where we get to. And if you're thinking this is a lot of food, um, it's because Mike takes a portion to work um, tomorrow as well, so I'm cooking a bit extra for him. Okay, so this is where we got to. I'm actually super happy with it. This looks delicious and smells really good too. Um, I'm hoping it tastes good, but Mike will be the taste tester. So what's the verdict, team? Do you like it? No. Is that nice, Riv? Yummy? I'm gonna go and clip your hair back because it is literally all in your face. Good? Good work. Hooray. She's actually, oh, I'll oh. oh, blow on it. Oh. Whoa. Uh-oh. Perfect, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> so, lunch is finished. And then I also was just think, sitting there thinking about what I had said before and how the fact that I kind of like stopped <laughs> there because also, <laughs> I was really nervous about filming this, so um, I feel like I missed out a couple of things. Um, obviously, during this entire time, over this period of time, um, the murder of George Floyd happened as well, and the Black Lives Movement has been happening. Um, I've been posting a lot about that on Instagram, um, but I feel like that has been heavy for obviously for everyone that is um, affected by it and invested in it and learning about it, it's been heavy. Um, and I'm not gonna talk much more about that in this video because I've spoken about it a lot on Instagram. Um, so that happened as well at the same time. 
And then a couple of days ago, my granny, who I hadn't actually seen for a couple of weeks, um, which has taken away, obviously, like, transmission worry, but she was diagnosed with COVID and she's currently in hospital. So that is also a really big worry. Um, and yes, more things to explain what's been going on, but I'm hoping you guys understand why I've had a few weeks off and I'm back. I hope I'm back anyway. You never know. Um, you never know <laughs> how I'll be feeling next week, but I'm not done with the cooking for this afternoon. I have decided I'm gonna make some of my um, flapjack. World famous. World famous to Mike and my mum and my friends. Basically, the last few weeks as well, I've perfected my vegan flapjack recipe to the point where I'd say it's probably the best flapjack I've ever eaten. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for a quick interview with Mike here. What do you reckon? The best black that you've ever eaten? Uh, yeah, it's pretty damn good. It's pretty good. So I'm going to share the recipe with you for that because it's the bomb, if I do say so myself. Um, here are the ingredients ready to go and I will share with you how you make it. It is delicious. Delicious. Got my glamorous assistant here doing a very good job of stirring. And you be careful, Riv, because this is hot. You don't touch, okay? You use the spoon. I'm gonna put You stir. The margarine in and then River's gonna stir it. Margarine. 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 It's looking good, Rivy. You stir. Do you want a hand? This is her favourite thing to make. Yeah, good job. Stir it some more. Um, um, um. Finish. You're finished, Daddy will help. Yeah, yeah. That's it, and then you can lick the spoon, and that's the best bit. Okay. okay. And now, is it going to taste good? Yummy, yummy, yummy. And then we pour this into the pan, don't we, Riv? That's right, doing it one-handed. Could be danger zone. Want to uh. scrape it? Yeah, probably not the thing she's been licking yes, there. <laughs> You're a tinkle. You're a monkey. <laughs> okay, so this is what it looks like once you've packed it all down. What's that? That's the drawer. And then, Rivy, where does this go next? Do you remember? I don't want. You don't want? It goes in the oven. It's not going in the oven. Oh, it's not? Why not? Um. Uh-oh, distracted. <laughs> so that's going in the oven for about 20, 25 minutes and they're gonna be delicious, trust me. Bloody Wrong sorry. one, this so one. Me. Oh no, what am I doing, what am I doing here? Yeah. Here we go. I just need Paw Patrol headphones. You want Paw Patrol on the headphones? Ta-da! So Mike and I have just introduced River to the magic of wireless headphones. He's got... My Trex headphones, which are like... The ones like that don't go in your ears. The side of your head. And she's been... Riv! Oh, <laughs> Look at her wow. belly hanging out the bottom. Her skirt's fallen down. Uh-oh, they've fallen off. Oh have? no! She's been literally dancing around the island. We've just been sitting here watching her and she's been like running around and we keep changing the song and she goes... Ooh! <laughs> there you go. Funny little monkey. This situation is also a very much daily occurrence in our household right now. Every day we play doh. I mean, that's pretty epic. And every day the play doh gets left out and some of it dries up. Well, and then we have to buy more play doh. What are you making? Peas? A pea. What are you making, Rivi? What's that? What is it? Oh, you want to look at the camera? Look, filming Daddy's peas. She's still what got her Moana in her ear. <laughs> She's obsessed with my vlog camera as well. So here it is in all its glory. Turn the alarm off. Now I've just got to chop it up. I do fairly small bits because um, if you do big bits, I feel like you feel a bit more guilty eating it. <laughs> uh, maybe that's counterproductive. 
You're supposed to do this when it um, cools down, but I always do it when it's hot because I am impatient. So while little one is napping, I'm having a much needed cuddle with these girls. Hey, beautiful girls. So I literally don't know where the time has gone today. Um, some of our friends just came around um, who live in Bristol. It's a couple that I was, well, I was at school with Bailey and her husband um, for a socially distanced catch up and drink in the garden. It was so nice to see them. I don't think I've seen, I don't think I've seen Bailey since January. It was the last time I saw her, so really nice to catch up with. Yeah, I haven't seen Tom in a long time. Um, yeah, so they were up here visiting her mum in the garden and then came to us in the garden and it was very nice. Um, because we live like quite rurally, the whole like meeting up in the park thing doesn't really happen for us, so it's always like it's really nice to see friends. And yeah, it's very nice. And now we are cooking this little munchkin some dinner she is watching chip and potato her fave little curly top and probably make some dinner it's actually quite late now it's like eight o'clock um, way past her bedtime um and then i am quite up for how do you feel about this mdf watching the last episode of runaways up for it because i caught up gonna fall asleep earlier okay so we've been watching it's, Mar it's Marvel, isn't it? It's on Disney it's Plus. Can I point out but as well? You've, you. gone, you've gone back to doing what you always do with vlogging, which is no, not wonky. Is basically Cut. so. We're, it's so Mike, nice to see you, Mike. It's nice to see you, Mike. Nice pecs. Um, so instead, I'm just going wonky like this. Cray cray. Um, You're so and... Michael Bay right now. <laughs> and so it's Marvel, but it's not new. I feel like it's from a few years ago, but because we've just got Disney Plus, we started watching it, and it's very teeny. But we're liking it, and we've got one more episode left of season one, and then it's another season, so. What I didn't realise as well last night, Tyler, look, don't pinch my bum, um, <laughs> was that. Chop my head off again. Just saying. I'm not! You are. Like, to chopping your cap off. Um, Come on. Was that Black. Not Black Panther. Venom was Marvel. I didn't realise that was Marvel. Yeah, you not. No, so no, I'm kind watched, of excited. I say we to watched see Venom last night, but I actually, watched Mike watched about. The whole of it, I watched about 10 minutes. Yeah. But I'm excited to see Thank if Venom you. makes a return in the new generation of Marvels, as I don't Do really so? look, I I don't look at what... I think Tom Hardy's too cool, I think he's just going to be like, nah mate. But the <laughs> thing is with Marvel, like, I know there's like loads of like, giveaways and obviously you read the comic books and stuff that will tell you stuff. I tend to like block it out, so I get surprised when I go to the cinema. So was Black cool. Panther Marvel? He was indeed. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, one of the best Marvels by Marvel. Yeah, maybe we should watch that again. Need a cuddle. Um, An emergency a... cuddle required. Guys, literally the funniest things just happened. I'd like to introduce you all to baby Nigel. Looks like a Nigel, doesn't he? Um, <laughs> so Viv has been Nigel, he's here! It's baby Nigel! Baby what have you got? Oh, baby Nigel. There's baby Nigel. Baby oh, baby wants to eat some of your mango. So basically, River has been obsessed with babies and baby dolls for ages now, but she hasn't got to the stage where she names them. So we're like constantly asking her, what's its name? And she says, Dolly or baby, like you're crazy. It doesn't have a name. Um, and now we've got baby Nigel. Baby Nigel. And then we've also got baby Pugwit which sounds like, I'll let you guys fill in that blank, <laughs> but it's not good. So we're in bed. Mike's mapping out his Strava bike ride tomorrow. for tomorrow morning. Such a geek, this is like Five every night. wake up, you're gonna How come to me? Hell no. Um, and we can't leave River on the road. How far are you going tomorrow? Depends, so if I wake up at 5.30 and I've only got an hour, then it'll be 17 miles to do 17 miles an hour, because that's what I average. If I've got a little bit more time yeah. than I'm going to get. If I do to. this, and if this happens, and if there's a five mile an hour easterly wind, I might yeah, go. You've got the wind about right to be better tomorrow, isn't it? Five mile an hour. Such a yeah, geek. No, I'm probably, um, yeah, probably between 17 to 20 miles, depending on. You are what crazy. You are crazy. I'm thinking we of are... doing in a few weeks when I get my, I've got my, my, my distance, cycling to work, which is over 50 miles. 
He said 50-5-0. 5-0. Which is a long way. For a little leg like Nutter. Mine. Nutter. We're now watching. Oh. Oh, I won't be watching for long. I'm so tired. We're watching Runaways. We just finished season one. Starting season two. And it's like a nice, kind of light-hearted... It's kind of like good but rubbish at the same time, isn't it? I think it's a bit harsh. I think it's just kind of like, you know, a bit teen angsty. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's OC like you don't have to worry about it. mixed with the Goonie. No, not Goonies. <laughs> OC mixed with kind of like Stranger Things mixed with Iron Man mixed with Spider-Man. Thanks for that recap. Anyway, recap we're going to bed. Piggy's here. Piggy's going to have to... Not Going to Piggy, bed. can't she sleep here for just one night? Look mm. how cute she is. Downstairs. They're all up here, to be fair. Stairs. Where's Treacle? Oh, she's down on the floor. Oh, okay. Cuddle bugs. You're going to say night, Piggy? Say see you later, alligators.